Hello and welcome back to Sea of Stars. I'm Mighty Z. If you've chosen to join us on this adventure, thank you very much. If you're returning, you know what this is. Beautiful art, beautiful music. Three friends on a glorious journey. Let's take out these ant guys. We are currently on the road to find a ship to make it to Wraith Island. But we are up high on this mountain and we need to get down to the bottom, I assume, to find a port town or something to get on with our journey. Smack him with that pot lid, girl. Okay. Last time, we were on a different island and we got our special prophecies and a few special powers that a giant threw us to this island in the most... Ridiculous and whimsical means of fast travel I've ever seen, and it was pretty cool. We're gonna do that again, unless there's different means of travel between each island. Hold up, the power. There we go. Good stuff. Now get to start the day off with a nice win. Hitting the road. All right, let's see, we can get down here. Yep, our body weight's enough for that. Ooh, and precious mushrooms. Gotta collect all these. The mushroom recipes so far are some of the best things we can make. Mushroom soup, here's the whole party. I think we have something else mushroom, I gotta check it. I haven't memorized all the recipes yet. Oh, look how high we are. Uh-oh, are you guys bandits? You have some kind of Really cool boomerang disc. Oh, you're throwing your spinning staff. Cool. Wait, can Val do that? Maybe later. <laughs> Get a little staff toss. Okay, got you blocked. Ah, not that time. Uh-oh, Zale is down. It's cool. Take a nap. We've been traveling for a while now. Get a couple smacks. Let's do this. Get a nice charge in there. Okay, learning. That's the great thing about Action Command games. You get to learn all the different timing for blocking different moves. And we have a whole bunch of those now. Yeah. Action Command based uh, fighting is really fun because even on your defensive turn, your mind is fully engaged, learning to block all kinds of whimsical attacks. And by the time as you reach the Toward journeys and you've learned to block a whole litany of different attacks from different kinds of foes. It's really good stuff. Smack, smack. Hold up. Ah, I wanted to practice that topic. It's cool. We'll get it. You don't have to get it every time. We're going to smack the hell out of you right now. <laughs> okay. Boom! There we go. Yeah. Yep. So I assume our party members are super fit because uh, traveling the road in Sea of Stars is a lot of climbing on rocks and going over ropes and tight bridges and chanting and eating the most healthy and wonderful looking food ever. Everybody else must just have rock hard abs and zero body fat. <laughs> if only. Speaking of food, get through with a bite now. Let's see, what do we got? Mushroom soup for the whole party. Probably should save that. Um, salad's good. Salad for the road, that's enough. But yeah, they're doing all this hiking and they're eating like a basic salad. <laughs> it's like zero calories. <laughs> okay, these ant dudes. Oh, that's why you remind me of Pokemon. There was like, um, wasn't there like a steel? Ant in um, Pokemon Black and White back in the day or something? I don't remember. It's been a while. <laughs> the bandit and the ants are working together. You have a sandwich for Zale real quick. Or maybe you're training them. There we go. Ow. Stop biting Garl. Leave him alone. There we go. We've gotten the block. So it's bite, bite, block. Okay, we're good. Oh, it looks like he's in defense mode with his uh, little spinning staff there as if he's like a 
Imperial Inquisitor or something. <laughs> it's not cool. But we should learn how to do it ourselves, though. We have a staff. Twirl it and be nice. Okay. What are we gonna do here? Let's see. Get, let's make sure Garl gets topped off. Being KO'd is not the end of the world in this game thus far, but, you know, we want to avoid it if possible. It'd be good practice. Okay, I think we got that blocked down. Now, what are you gonna do? Bombs! Uh, okay. Gotta figure out the timing of that. Party-wide damage is not good, so we gotta prioritize taking you down, maybe? Okay, blunt damage on the right ant. How do we want to do this? Let's get all this live mana. And... Let's do it. Let's do moonbeams. Get some spread damage here. As long as our timing's good. Reminds me of the multi-bounce from Paper Mario games, if you know the timing of those. There we go! Nice! Alright. Two ants out of the way. And the bandit down. Nice and clean. That's how we like it. Alright, let's go. Okay. Whoa, what is that? Whatever it is, is really, really pretty. Can't jump on it. Uh. uh still gotta do something with an item. Probably for much, much later. Okay, let's move on. Always take the high road. You learned that from Sonic games. Let's see, what do we got? Ooh! Power Belt! That seems like it will increase attack. I'm gonna want that on Val, if possible. That's what it do. Okay. Alright. More attack power. I wanna hit the hell out of them with our, uh, staff. Okay, let's see. Wow, you got us! Wait, are there first strikes in this game? I have to experiment with that. Whoa, what is that? Jumping... Grass moose, maybe? <laughs> what are you? <laughs> Alright, let's go. Mm, let's see. You can eat up a little bit. Don't have to always use your healing power. Save some MP for attacks, actually. There we go. Didn't matter. <laughs> but it still feels good that we got the block, though. Want to get better at the timing. That. Ah. Let's go. Oh, that did a nice chunk of damage to Val. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll need to take one of them down or heal up. Let's see. Get some splash damage. There we go. Okay, the moose is vulnerable. Leave her alone. Ah! Okay, everything's fine. Just eat this food real quick and hold off. Oh, that's a new attack for the moose. What is that? Swarm? Ah! I hate when bad guys summon more bad guys like that. I hope there's a limit on that, or that could be a pretty OP move. Mm. Okay, thinking. Okay, we need to take out as many of them as we can in one go. Hitting them with a fireball would be best. Mmm. We don't really have any good combo moves that hit the whole field at this time. They just good single target single target moves. We gotta focus on these ants in case they can summon more buddies. They gotta go first now. There we go. We got you, Moose. Okay, good. Don't summon more buddies. Stop trying to bite me too. Oh, Carl. Okay. Oh, you're throwing your bombs, but at least it's only one guy here. All right, Val's back up. Okay, help me take out this ant immediately, please. Okay, let's see. Yeah, let's just take him out. He's blunt damage anyway. Ah, still alive. That's not good. The bandits are really annoying too, honestly. And there we go. All right, hold up. Need one hell of a fireball now. Not looking great. Not my best work, but still learning. Still learning. Still early. Okay, here we go. The burn y'all dash! <laughs> Good stuff. Alright, so we just need to take down the one bandit and we'll be fine. 
One on one, we can handle it. Okay. Drop some more live mana for us. Ah, it's okay, it's okay. It's just one guy. He's gonna take you out. Mm, make sure you're out, but let's do a little healing. In case this attack doesn't quite take you down. Yeah, I see you. I see you there. And the party's up. We're being tactical here. Boom. Boom. Good. Yeah, I, we could have taken him down with Zale, but I like to play careful sometimes when a party wipe is on the line, you know? <laughs> okay, another hole to break. More money to make. Let's see. I do love the music, just... I'm not gonna... I don't want to say I love the music and love the art every single part, because... I'm gonna say it every single part if I don't think about it. <laughs> but I love the music and I love the art! It's so nice! Very soothing and chill. I also love, like, pan lutes. Such a good instrument. Doo -doo. Just checking for secrets. Well, now that I see that walls can cover stuff up, I like to be careful. Because there could be secret, uh, there's gonna be secret tunnels guaranteed in a game like this. In a quest like this, in an adventure like this. There are bound to be secrets all over the place. Even secret vegetables for recipes. Okay, we found a way up here. How do we jump down? Oh, probably jump down from that cliff over to the right. Oh, more vegetables. Precious vegetables. Okay. Mm, checking for secrets. Okay, we'll come over here. And we should be able to pop right down. There we go. And we're in. Okay, let's see. Uh, what else is here? Okay, off to the right. Beautiful cave with gemstones in the walls. That's nice. Now, even the caves look good. <laughs> All this little detail and color. Nice. Let's get up here. Climb. Climb over here. Upper body, upper body, upper body. Ooh, where are we now? There's a bandit. Couple bandits. Ooh, shiny green rock. We topped off health-wise. Let's see. Yeah, let's give you some food. Uh-oh, we need a lot more food. These are recipes here. Okay, we need to go make more food immediately. We'll be fine as long as Garl and um, Zale can heal themselves. We'll be good in this fight. Uh, let's do it. A little nervous. I wonder what that is, though. I don't like the ants. I, I want to prioritize the bandits because they throw bombs that hit the whole party. But the ants can summon friends, so they got to go first, too. Kind of annoying, honestly. The combination of enemies is annoying. All right, let's go. Uh, splash damage might be key, but moonbeams guaranteed hit everyone. So let's start everyone off with a little damage. It's right off the bat. Yep. But just stay calm. Val stays focused. She can put us in a position of advantage. That did a little bit of damage. Not a lot. There we go. I wonder if it matters if they're twirling their spears or not. Okay, he's twirling. Here we go. Okay, I will get the timing of that. That is dangerous, because that can take multiple of us down at once. Doesn't matter if someone goes down, but if a whole bunch of us go down, that's scary. And that was almost a party wipe right there. <laughs> okay, who are we gonna take down? Let's see. Uh, you need to be hit by sword, sword. Who's the weakest? You. Okay, leaves us with two. Okay, Garl can't give himself a sandwich yet, so we just gotta hope they don't attack Garl this round. Stop you. Swarm! Summoning friends! Ah! I hate moves like that! Okay, but Zale's up. That's good, that's good. Okay, let's do this. Um, Salt of Strike only hits one person, though. We need party-wide combo moves. Okay, get rid of the bandit, so at least we don't have to worry about bombs. That's good. 
He did the ants, but there are one ant is too far. That top ant is too far away to be hit by our splash damage. But at least we can get these two. Okay, let's go. There we go. It's one down. Still two left. Oh, stop calling your buddies! It's not a party. Okay, we gotta take him down. Let's see. Uh, we're gonna hurl. Smack you, we'll hurl next turn. Okay, blunt blunt. There we go! Okay, I was worried about hitting it with a blunt, but uh, the splash damage was the best option there. Okay, they can still summon more friends. So we gotta take them down all at once. Okay, block! No, no, no! Evil ants! Okay. We need more MP points, like, badly. We do, like, an attack, and then we can't do another spell for turns and turns and turns. It's really bad. Okay, you go down. And now, take you down. There we go. Okay. Oh! Beautiful timing. We got to level up. On that note with what we need more of, let's see. I said we need more magic points, and I really believe that, because I hate only being able to do one spell and then not being able to do another one, but we also need them to do more damage right now. Um, let's see, for Zale, I really want those magic points, but... Uh... Let me look at these stats. Okay. Okay. We're gonna give you physical attack right now. Your sword hits weren't super good. We're doing magic points next time. And yeah, Garl could do some more physical damage too. He's he's beefy, but the pot lid's not really killing. And we need we need the kills. Okay. Okay. Ooh, a little cliff to dive into the water. Uh very suspicious green gemstone that I really want to explore. Hmm. What are you? <laughs> and a chest we can't get to right now. Okay, let's see. Let's dive into the water. Beautiful. Okay, climb up here. Oh, I think we can at least... Can we? Yeah, we can get the chest. Because in this world we can climb, actually. Ooh, some... Amber ore? Teal Amber Ore. Hmm. Okay, there has to be a way to push blocks. We just clearly don't have it yet. Not gonna mash my head over something we can't do. Okay, got an old bridge here. Ooh, we can, we can rest and save. Okay. Uh, we'll save, we'll cook. Actually, I will run off to the bathroom real quick because I gotta go. And we will continue the road trip. Yes, let's go. Okay. Oh, I am delighted to be back to this. Okay, where are we doing? All right, we need a ship to go somewhere. So we gotta get to a town and talk to possibly some pirates. Yeah, we saw the demo. But after that, I have no idea what's gonna happen. Uh-oh. All right. Spend a little bit. Hmm. I like this, that we're uh, in between them facing our own enemies. That's cool. All right. Uh-huh. And girl turns around, that's cool. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, let's see. I want to take you out first. The power! Boom! All right. Nice! Uh-huh. I'm happy she backed up for this. I'm out of practice! I think we're good, though. Excellent. 
Uh huh. Nice. That's what we like to see. All right, let's keep going now. More enemies. Uh, we, is our health topped off? Uh, we should be fine. Oh, it looks like they are first strikes. Oh, three of them. I didn't see the third guy there. Okay, that dude's already spinning. Hmm. Okay. Gotta break some locks. Uh, yeah, we're down in MP. Let's get some more power. Okay, we're gonna take some hits here. Yep, we can block it though. Don't know the, the timing of that one just yet, but we'll figure it out. Okay. See, nourish. Toss him a snack. Nice. So we have two healers. That's excellent news. Whoops. Got a little too anxious. Oh, you. Oh, I thought you were gonna attack Garl. All right. We're getting it. Ah! Someone needs a heal. There you go, knock you down. Now we'll save. For healing. Need a big old heal. Ooh, it's pretty nice. So that's how much extra it heals. Good to know. All right. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Well, I guess I had no choice. More bombs. Please, not the bombs. Not the bombs! One, two, three. Yes! Okay. It is one, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. Ah. I'll get it. Ah. Okay, they both get to attack. No! Uh oh, this is bad. It's up to Val. Gotta heal after this. We go. Alright, that girl is up. Uh, I have no idea what the timing is of the Earl. Alright. We got here. Just more beautiful discs. I'm sure all this stuff will matter later. Probably should heal up. How much health do they wake up with when they're up? It's good. Let's eat some. Food. Drop it up. Once again, that looks amazing. Drop these up. Okay. The berries we can make. All right. That's what I forgot to do. Okay, next we want to jump down from here. Find the... Wait, wait. Oh, 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 it's over there. Oh. Now I get it. <laughs> okay, what I meant to say was next we want to come over here. Oh, okay. how do we... Oh, over here? Oh, okay. Nice. Wow. You really can go all over the world. It's really, really nice. Ooh. Pretty. Okay, drink every time you hear that. <laughs> okay, let's climb up here. Uh, we come... We jump? Oh, yep, there we go. There. 
Ooh, precious ingredients. Here we go. Oh, I think there was some ingredients up there. Looks like we have no choice but to battle. How do you get first strikes? Ooh, okay. Looks like Zale is up. There we go, break your unlock. Smack. You can't just summon friends like that! Uh oh. Oh no. Uh. Focus on the one we're hurting. Uh. Oh, this is gonna be insane. So many! That was hard! <laughs> oh, that's a lot of damage. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, they give you a small sound cue, which is useful. Uh, okay. Uh huh. Hurt, he needs healing. Like, please stop attacking the same guy. Hold on. All right. Yeah, I wish he could heal everyone at the same time. And now... Maybe that'll come later. Okay. So many of you! I'm gonna take advantage of splash damage. Stop, please! Okay. You're a healer too. Come on, girl. Who's he gonna? Uh, well, you should probably heal yourself. Time for a quick sandwich. There we go. More of you. All right. Okay. No, I don't think any of our. Okay. What are we gonna do? Oh, splash damage. Need splash damage. No, we only have enough for a heal. Okay. Let's get some more live mana out in the field. There we go. Please stop that. Well, at least it's good practice. Oh, that's not what I meant to do! At least we're getting pl plenty of... Okay. I know what we should do, but I don't... Need splash damage. Alright. Take out as many of them as we can. There we go. Stop that, please. All right, at least they're not summoning any more. Okay, last one. Excellent. We fell into some sort of hive. Lots of items. What do we got? What's down here? Was that all it was? Did we just come down into a hive and just get jumped? Ugh. Oh, wait, no, there's more. Oh, there's something up there. I want that. I want whatever that is. Ooh! Oh, a weapon! Definitely, definitely worth coming down here for a silver sword. And I wonder who that's for. Alright! More powerful than what you got! Okay, so we came down here for Zale. Okay, let's climb out of here. Found a sword in like an ant hive or something. Wow. 
It's like a mini, mini dungeon. But very worth it. And we found some food supplies so we can cook up. And we didn't eat any of our food, which we should probably remedy. <laughs> I think it's, yeah. Keep eating. Wait. I think mushroom soup is what heals everyone. Ooh, nice. If you use that. That should be good. Oh, the food is amazing in this. It looks amazing and it does wonders. So we have to pick up as many things as we can find on the road so we don't have to buy stuff. Mmm. -hmm. Okay. Ooh. Dang it. All right. More bandits. Let's see. The fireball would be nice to have. Uh, let's get you with the sword. Okay. A lot of crescent weaknesses. So let's hit you with some moon beams. All right, not a bad one. I hate this Bob thing so much. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. All right, girl. Uh, hit the one we were hitting. Good. Who is? Still need more. You with that? Whack you with our stick. <laughs> ah! Not worth using the fireball. But time to use some of our training. Boom. Get him, girl. We gotta get our attack up. Next time we get a level up. Hit him high. Yeah. Beautiful. Sword, dancer, and battle monk. Oh, stop teasing me with that item. I want it. I want it. <laughs> How do we get up there? Want it? Okay, we're gonna have to come from the other side. Because <laughs> we found a new item for Zale, means we're probably gonna get a new item for Val soon. Hopefully. It wouldn't be fair. Well, I mean, yes, we found a whole bunch of armor for Val first. Oh, we can swim! Oh, thank God. You guys, in old video games, water was just death, and it's nice to have water just be water. Grab some of these grains. You need grains for all kinds of bread and everything. It's healthy. Don't let people, like, lie to you about gluten. Well, I mean, processed food's bad, but natural grain is super good for you. Here we go. Ooh, recipe. Mushroom soup. I think that gives HP to everybody, so super useful. We'll check it out, though. I think I remember that one from the demo, or I think we found one during this playthrough. And we're off. Huh. Uh, looks like we're not gonna get to go to town for free. Look! Someone's over there! Animated! Hook, you clearly matter. <laughs> I love those animated cutscenes! Indie games just going above and beyond. And she has a theme song. We should ask for directions. She looks busy. But I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> bah, 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 I'd say. Girl's so optimistic. <laughs> Excuse me, hello. Is there something special about that big rock? Her name is, oh, I remember you from the demo. You're the storyteller. Yes, come look at this. I didn't recognize her beautiful animation form, but like, it's... What's he looking at? It's... <laughs> this looks like... 
Nah. Must <laughs> must be my imagination. What were you gonna say? Ahem. So, what are these? Fascinating is what they are. These runes are the oldest form of writing known to us. So it's like Sanskrit, basically. That makes sense. Carl couldn't possibly read that. <laughs> Who's us? Oh, special colors in the front. Traveling historians, of course. I take it that's gonna be important later. Or at least, uh, what's left of them. Okay. Who's hunting historians? <laughs> no way, you're a traveling historian? Nice to meet you. My name is Garl. So friendly. Nice to meet you too. I'm Teeks. Oh, that's a cute name. So, are you friend? Are your friends always this quiet? <laughs> She's optimistic too. That's wonderful. Nah, Valerie and Zale are fun. They've just been sealed away to study in the sky for too many years. Way to put us on blast. <laughs> yeah, that would be random. Ah, magic hair. Ah, elemental cloth pieces. That's adorable! Okay. I take it she knows what Solstice Warriors are. You're Solstice Warriors! Yeah, she does. <laughs> we... I knew it! Whoa, whoa, can't read all that. Okay, oh, God, it's so much. Okay, uh... Fearsome in battle! <laughs> Adventure spirits, uh, fix, uh, fated to unveil mysteries unknown, uh, and encounter countless forgotten artifacts. Ah, uh, a traveling historian's best friends. Ooh, you gonna join the party? Teeks. I mean. Well, someone's excited. <laughs> and we thought Garl was something. She and Garl are gonna be like best friends now. <laughs> hey guys, Teeks has an um, offer for us and I think it's worth hearing her out. Sure, what's up? Mm, just say it. I'm not sure how to explain it properly. It's about my book. Hmm? <laughs> Why don't you eat with us tonight? Of course you're gonna say that. Why do you eat with us, Teeks? This place is perfect to set up camp. Oh well. Don't be shy. We are happy to have you. Yeah. Plus, you have to try Garl's cooking. Okay, okay, thanks. That's it. One stew coming right up. All right. Look at it. See how this working out. Oh, Val actually resting for once, not doing her sit-ups, just chilling. And Garl, of course, eating. All right. So here we go. Thanks again for the food, Garl. You really are a pretty good cook. <laughs> Glad you liked it. You're welcome to join us again anytime. So, you're the very last traveling historian? Isn't it a job? Can't anyone become one? Or is it... Maybe you have magical powers too. We'll read. At this point, I might as well be the, la the first... It's been so long since all the, uh oh, lore grimoires were burned. All right, I just played, just played another game with grimoires in it. Not dealing with that again. Okay, the what now? <laughs> 
Lore grimoires. Every traveling historian has one. Or had one, I suppose. They're enchanted books that write themselves hmm, by touching artifacts with... Uh, okay, with stories to tell. Okay, so I guess you just take the book, touch it to an artifact, and it just gains information? Interesting. All right, interesting. Whoa! A traveling historian's duty is to make their lore grimoire f as full as possible before passing it on to a new recruit. There used to be a guild and <clears throat> a whole bunch of us, but now there's just the... <sighs> believer here. Which leads to what I've been meaning to ask. Shoot. Well, you see, the best thing a traveling historian can ask for is adventurers who keep an eye out for them. I don't have a way to pay you, but... If you wouldn't mind grabbing any artifacts you stumble upon during your adventures, I'd be happy to share stories with you. Sounds fun, but how will we find you if you're always traveling? Don't worry about it. I'll just drop by your campsite whenever you're out in the open. So you'll just happen to find us all over the world, okay? It's the perfect setting for telling stories. So you'll just be here at camp whenever we stop. That makes sense? Story time by the campfire? Sign me up. Great. Just bring me any artifacts you find and we'll see how my lore grimoire reacts. That's kind of mysterious. Cool. How many stories do you have so far? Just the one. It was empty when I found it, but that's okay by me. I plan on discovering enough to fill an entire volume. That's the spirit. Everyone's so positive. The first story wrote itself when I stumbled upon a very old pirate earring. Okay, pirate earring. Oh, is this the story? This might be the story of Hortense from the uh, demo. I'm not sure. Okay. That's when I knew I was holding a rare lore grimoire. They were thought extinct. What's the story about? Yep, this is it. Yep, yep, yep. A ghost pirate ship called the Vespertine. Ooh. I can read it to you if you want. Feel free to ask. All right, so we can walk around, we can cook a little bit, and it seems now we also have access to stories. Good stuff. All right, we could uh, probably could just leave and not hear the story, but I would like to hear the story. Mm hmm. Oh, no, I rested by accident! I was paying attention, I wanted to cook real quick. Uh-oh. Whoops, I want to hear your story! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry! That looked like I just didn't care! A boat ride to Wraith Island? That might be a challenge given the situation with the lift? Huh? Probably nothing you can't figure out. <laughs> Uh, which way is it? East of here, along the path. Mind if I stick around for now? Uh, we have the same destination. The more the merrier. Cool, Teeks joins the... Ooh, cargo. She's not a item. <laughs> she joins the cargo. Okay, weird. Okay, hold up. I want to, let me rest at camp real quick. LB, all right. I want to hear that story. I didn't mean to blow her off like that. All right, everybody chill out. See, I'll do some more push-ups. Let's hear this story. The next night. 
All right. Hey, want to hear the story? Okay, which one? Okay, so this will be a list of stories. This is just a sample story. The Vesper Teens. Probably the same story, but just in case. I assume none of you watched me play the demo. <laughs> so here we go. <sighs> of all the recorded... Of, of all the recorded hexes and acts of bewitchment, few are as dreadful as the curse of the Vesper Teens. This story takes us back centuries to a time when a certain band of pirates ruled the seas. Stormcaller was the name of their captain. He was the most powerful wind mage the world had ever known. And their navigator, Hortense, remains to this day the Stuart Mainer on record. Sorry, Mariner on record. Got a phone call. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Combining Hortense's skill and Stormcolor's magic, some say their ship was faster than light itself. The crew went on many adventures and accumulated countless riches until one day the inevitable happened. Hortense, whose first love was magic, announced that she wanted to quit the pirate life and devote herself to her art full time. Ever a firm believer that the real treasure is the treasure one finds along the way. Stormcaller took her resignation harshly. Utterly insulted, he stopped conjuring wind for the sails and locked the ship right in the middle of the ocean. And we shall remain here, he said. Tell our navigator gets that silly idea out of her head. But Hortense had already made her final decision. Days went by, both of them sulking, while their crew begged that they reach some resolution. First, they ran out of patience, then out of food, and eventually out of drinking water. Then one day after sunset, the pirates, driven mad by hunger and thirst, mutinied and made their captain walk the plank. And as he sank into the abyss, Stormcaller cursed his crew and conjured an eternal prison. In the sea of nightmare, he would channel a deadly storm for them to endure forevermore. Over centuries, the crew number members lost their minds to the ghostly place until only Hortense remained. To this day, the battle goes on in the Sea of Nightmare. Stormcaller's hatred pitted against the Navigator's sheer will. Some say Stormcaller's fury will one day sink the ship, while others believe he will eventually bow to the indomitable Hortense. Legend has it she gets a short break once a day for but a few seconds at the precise time the curse was first conjured. Countless sailors and fishermen have since reported sightings of the legendary ghost pirate ship that appears at dusk. They call it the Vespertine. 
while some have half a mind to climb aboard in search of treasure. Most avoid sailing at dusk for fear of being sucked into the sea of nightmare. The end. Cool story. If they're all like freaky ghost stories and stuff, I am going to be pretty happy about that. I hope I read it all right. Hope you guys enjoy them. All right, let's see. Do, 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 do. What can we cook? We have one of you. Can make a bunch of you. Let's make one of each. Cooking, cooking, cooking. Boop. Sandwiches. One of you. I know it's an achievement for cooking everything once. Just want to cover our bases first. Make sure we're good. And we have to also find all the recipes, of course. Yep. And chop you up. Okay. Now to make... Right. Man, some of these do HP and MP. That's that, that's amazing. Uh, so definitely want to make more of you. I think the girl has all this equipment with him for us to make all this stuff. All right, that's enough ghost stories and cooking for one night. All right, let's continue. Ooh. This bridge is freaking high, man. Okay. I look how there's a bridge and then there's just like death defying jumps after that. So I don't know if we're gonna get more party members, but we're gonna get more people. I hope we don't consider them all cargo. Oh, there's a lot of guys. I don't wanna fight all these guys at the same time. All right, it's only three. Uh, the bandit guy has to go first. He, these guys are annoying. Don't like you. You throw bombs and cause me all kinds of hell. All right. Ah. Here we go. Uh huh. Yep. All right. I want to see what you can do. Cool. Get rid of you. You were also annoying. Let's go. Boom. Yep. Vengeance is ours. Come. Nope. Blunt, blunt. Let's finish it up. I was gonna use a fireball, but they're so close to dying at this point. Not worth it. Okay. Hit him. We go. Cool. All right, let's go. What is that? Uh. Stand on this. Oh yeah, we can change uh time of day with, with the triggers. Right. Cool. Okay, all the way around. That is so cool. Okay. Uh-huh. How do we do both? Oh, okay, just do them all one by one. That's so cool that we can change the time of day. 
I don't know what this is for, but it's a key. Ooh, hold up. Zale and Garl learn combo skill Solar Rain. Okay, we gotta try that out. We That sounds cool. Probably gonna throw a fireball at Garl's pot lid to shoot out sparks. Sounds like it, a plan. Let's do it. You haven't been doing combo attacks. Need to do those. Does that meter... Does the combo meter ch stay charged between battles, I wonder? What are you? Okay, you're just a wanderer? Okay. Mountains are nice. Okay. Probably talk to you later. Let's go. Wow, I didn't know this mountain texture was going to be this big. They really skipped all of this for the demo. <laughs> Alright. Because I remember you, you just had teaks later when talking to the pirates. Cool! Looks like there's some kind of block there. And here's town. Is that a dragon? That's a dragon. Okay. Let me see. LB, what does that do? Oh, we can just camp like wherever when we're on the uh, overworld. That's really good to know. That's really cool that we can just camp on the overworld. That's really, really cool. Right. Save there. All right. Let's rest before we head into town. It's a rough town. You'll never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy and all. Could get jumped. Or... Okay, it actually is a wretched hive of scum and villainy. Okay, villager. The elder hasn't returned! Oh, they are freaking out. Oh no! <laughs> Malcolmond will kill us all! Okay, run! 